Welcome back to Movie Masters. Today, we're testing out some audio equipment. I know this isn't quite video equipment, but look, audio and visual go together. I'm a musician. This is my little brother. He's a musician too. And we're gonna see which one is better. So we're gonna go through them, some of the features. And we've both chosen pretty similar guitars to test them through. But before we go through that, let's look at what they have. Now, fundamentally, this is the Everse 8 and the Bose S1 Pro Plus. Now, the main difference between them is this one is an 8-inch speaker and this one is a 6.5-inch speaker. So, look, this is going to be louder, but is it going to be better quality? So, let's go test that out. Now, they both have a similar amount of inputs. This one has one main input, two main inputs. Same here, one main input and two main inputs. And then it also has a third aux in. This one has a 3.5 mil aux in where this has a full size jack aux in. And that is one of the main differences from the Bose S1 Pro compared to the Bose S1 Pro Plus. They upgraded that socket. Anyway, at the end of the day, I think it's more about sound quality, but they do both have some special features. So these are both fully charged. Let's power them on. Now, one thing I will mention, we both have set them to similar volumes. One thing that I should mention is the Bose S1 Pro Plus does have these wireless transmitters. So here, they just plug in the side and then they come out. One is a microphone. And then one is your standard jack. Now, I had to buy these separately. Now, starting with price, this is currently retailing at 1300 Australian dollars, and this is currently retailing at about 900 to 1000 Australian dollars, depending on where you buy it. Okay, so because I can, I'm gonna go with the wireless option. And we've both set them to the same volume. And um, let's have a little play. So do you wanna go first? <laughs> forward. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll do one guitar at a time so you can hear the difference. Okay, now I'm going to play. Just from my ears, I actually think this does sound better. Now you can EQ them both separately, but I've just left them on the same EQ. And this just has a nice, more twangy sound. And we have exchanged guitars, and they do sound the same. But um, look. <laughs> So we have, because uh, every instrument is going to be different. So to give this a good comparison, because I will admit, like maybe you want this speaker for Bluetooth, maybe you want it for bass, maybe you want it for something else. Every instrument is going to be different. All right, what kind of basses have we got here? This is a Fender Jazz. And this one's a... Ernie Ball Music Man. How do you find the difference in the sound? Is there much or? Thank you. 
so. I guess you're the ones to be the judge of how that sounds. All right, so we're gonna play Seven Nation Army on both guitars. I'm gonna start first. There we go. Huh. I guess you've got to be the judge of that. Let's play them together. Okay. Huh. I guess we should do a uh, Bluetooth test. Okay, so now we're gonna do a Bluetooth test between both speakers. We both have the same song loaded up, both from Spotify, so it's giving us the exact same sound. Both are the exact same distance to the microphone. You go first. Okay, so we're gonna test the Bluetooth on both of these speakers. First, we're gonna go with this speaker. You can really tell, I mean, at least we can really tell. What do you think, Andrew? I mean. I gotta say, I think the Bose sounds. I think the Bose has more clarity. It certainly does. As uh, does the instruments going through the Bose, there's more clarity. And the bass, the bass is actually booming. It's more defined. Yeah. But we did, when we went out and bought this speaker, we did test the original Bose S1 Pro, not the Plus, but the original. And we opted with going for this, mainly because of the volume. So at the higher levels, this did have more bass, but at anything below, well, we were trying to push it to its max, but if you're not going for maximum volume, I personally, I think the Bose just takes the cake. What do you think, Andrew? It depends what uh, use you're gonna get out of it. This is gonna probably sound louder in a band setting. We've played, we've busked with this with the live drummer and it definitely holds up. The bass will, I was playing bass through this and it definitely, you can still hear it with a live drummer and a guitarist. Whereas this has more clarity and sounds better, but I feel might get lost with a live drummer. However, if your intention is to just play guitar at home, just have it as a, a Bluetooth speaker around your house to play music, then I think this sounds better and has more clarity. We were using this as an amp for bass um, live, so I feel we're using it for different purposes. Yeah. This is a bigger speaker, so obviously it's gonna sound louder. This is a smaller speaker, but the clarity is better. So it might be one of those things where as a combination, the bass player could play this, vocalist, guitarist can play this, and both of them do have nice features where you can put them both on stands. This one may be a few hundred dollars more, but if you want the extra inserts, they'll both end up about the same price. And they both have the features of different positioning systems. They can go on the back, they can go on the front, and they can go on the sides. So, anyway, this is the Everse 8. This is the Bose S1 Pro Plus. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Which is the better busking speaker? We would love to hear your thoughts, your comments. Have you used both of these in a real world setting? And just love to know what you wanna hear. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you maybe make a decision on what you like. And we'll chat next time.